All right, so I've had my Elegoo Saturn S for uh, about six or seven months. Um, I printed on it probably four of those months. Uh, nothing too heavy, but um, you know, fairly fairly steady usage for about four of those seven months. Three of those months, I was uh, I was out of town, um, but uh, ran into a print problem recently where the Z axis locked up uh, and wouldn't move, resulting in course a failed print see the build plate there uh, in the rat in the uh, resin vat um, seems to work okay I was able to pull it off and separate it off to clean that up later but for now my interest is in trying to figure out how to uh, unlock this and get it to move I think I've probably just run out of grease um, and uh, need to Take it apart and lube it a bit. Um, who knew? Uh, but I guess uh, lesson learned. Hopefully, there's nothing permanently damaged. Uh, unit seems to work okay. Motor makes a noise, but of course, nothing moves. So let's take it apart and see how we get on. All right. Well, I turned it over on its side. Uh, have it resting on some old foam material so I don't uh, push the switch into the wood of the deck here of the uh, countertop. Um, pick out the screws holding the sliding rail bits into the plate. The uh, sliding rail bits both seem to move, although there's a little bit of friction there. Uh, this thing is still pretty pretty locked in place. Um, so I'm going to take those two screws out next and try and separate this because I think the problem is some lockup in this area here. Um, I think that's just sort of tight, so I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. But first, I need to separate this piece from uh, its holder under here so I can kind of get at this and hopefully clean out what's inside of this bearing. Uh, so that's the next step. Let's see how we go. All right, so I'm going to hold this uh, lock washer and manually move, the, move it up. And I can feel, as it starts to turn, quite a bit of resistance as I move it up. So clearly this rod needs to get needs to get a thorough cleaning. Um, all this black junk that's in there uh, probably isn't helping it move at all. Um, but this looks like a pretty pretty straightforward fix. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this top cap off so I can take the nut completely off. Let me tilt this so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to take this top cap off so I can take the nut here completely off clean the entire rod with some degreaser or some uh, degreaser first uh, strip it down and then regrease it and hopefully that will get the uh, unit back uh, you know back working again the way it's supposed to uh, then of course i've got to clean up my build plate uh, recycle the resin that's still there uh, flash it to solidify the bottom clean up the build plate uh, and clean it all back up to get it printing again. Um, but just a word to the wise, uh, because I didn't do it, clearly you gotta maintain and uh, grease this thing up a little bit. Um, it's a wonderful machine, it's printed a lot of really cool things for me, but uh, uh, you gotta take, uh, take better care of it than I have. And uh, you know, luckily it doesn't seem like there's any permanent damage, so I'm thankful for that. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is move these to um, sort of clasp around the rails and lube these up as well because uh, even though they can move a little bit there is some friction and some some resistance there that uh, that probably shouldn't be so anyway that's the plan from here I uh, hope everyone found this useful and uh, happy printing all right so I've got some uh, grease here some white lithium grease uh, that I'm going to apply to the rod and then I'm going to use my finger and kind of smooth it up and down and then use the mechanical action of the rod to kind of drag it drag it up and down the, the rod a little bit so just sort of apply some on at least as a start smear the bead up up and down the rod a little bit I'm also going to do the side rails there too. Um, once that's kind of more evenly applied, um, I'm going to run my run my finger and have it have it 
turn it on and have it kind of glide up to the top of the rail to help smooth that out a bit. All right, so now I've gotten the grease on the rod and I've lightly tightened, hand tightened a couple of the screws on the, uh, the runners, the uh, connectors to the, to the runner, runner so that I can test it out, make sure that it actually goes up and down. Uh, and in fact, moment of truth, let's see what happens. Oh, that's a good sign. I like that very much. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to run it all the way back down to the home position, uh, run it up and down uh, a couple of times before I tighten up and put in all the other uh, six screws, tighten everything up, clean it all off, and then, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to uh, run some prints. Uh, but anyway, YouTube was pretty helpful for this. Uh, I'd seen it for the Elegoo Mars as the Elegoo Saturn S. Uh, pretty similar. Um, once I run it down a couple of times, I'll put the cap back on the top. Uh, and then, of course, I need to continue to clean up my print. Uh, but uh, maybe this afternoon we'll be able to uh, get some things running again. Um. All right, so after uh, lubing the vertical rod, uh, I went ahead and ran a couple of, uh, of projects through. And sure enough seems to be working again so that's really good news um seems like all i needed was a little bit of lube uh i'm gonna have to take a closer look at that from time to time just make sure that uh, there's some real action on there but uh machine's back and running and i'm printing again so all's well that ends well good luck with everybody else in your printing and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thanks